Chapter 25 of Diary of a Part-Time Indian marks a significant transformation in Junior's journey, both in terms of his identity and his relationships. Throughout the chapter, Junior grapples with the weight of expectations, rivalry, and the pursuit of personal legacy within the challenging dynamics of transitioning from a reservation school to Reardan, a predominantly white institution. Unexpectedly ascending to the status of a starter on the Rear Dan basketball team and becoming its best shooter, Junior attributes part of his newfound success to the power of expectations. The stark contrast in how he is perceived and expected to perform between his old school on the reservation and Rear Dan plays a pivotal role in his performance and self-view. This development underscores the powerful impact of environment and expectation on one's abilities and self-esteem. The basketball season is a successful one for Reardan, despite their initial loss to Junior's former school, the reservation team. This sets the stage for a highly anticipated rematch, not just between two schools, but between Junior and his childhood best friend, Rowdy, who is now his rival. The game is not just a competition, but is loaded with emotional and symbolic significance for Junior. It represents his struggle with identity, loyalty, and aspiration. Before the game, an interview reveals Junior's complex feelings about facing his former teammates. He refuses to be drawn into a narrative that pits him against his past and his community, instead focusing on the personal significance of every moment in his life. This underscores a theme central to the novel, the importance of owning one's story amidst external pressures and stereotypes. Junior is tasked with defending Rowdy during the game, a role he is initially unsure about due to his past defensive track record. However, the coach's faith in him propels Junior to believe in his capability to confront Rowdy on the court. This critical moment speaks to the theme of overcoming personal and external limitations, exemplified when Junior successfully defends against Rowdy's attempt to score, seizing the momentum for Reardon early in the game. The victory by Reardon, while a cause for celebration for Junior in the moment, quickly becomes a source of introspection and guilt. His victory on the court leads him to reflect on the socioeconomic disparities between the Reardan community and the reservation. The recognition of his team as Goliath in the context of these disparities fills Junior with shame, especially considering the real-life consequences his former teammates, including Rowdy, face due to their loss. The chapter concludes with Reardan's unexpected loss in the playoffs, a moment of communal vulnerability that allows Junior and his teammates to express their emotions freely, an exception to the stifling norms surrounding male expressions of emotion. Chapter 25 delves deep into themes of success, belonging, and the complexities of navigating between two worlds. Through the lens of a high-stakes basketball game, Sherman Alexie explores the nuances of identity, community loyalty, and the profound search for meaning amidst the pressure of expectations. Junior's inner conflict, his moments of triumph, and his painful realizations offer rich commentary on the intersections of race, class, and adolescence. So what did you think about this video? Please leave a comment down below and let me know what books you would like to see in the next video. Signing off, this has been another Bookly Crash Course.